devotions for this morning. Our scripture are reading by grace of God will be taken from the book of Psalm chapter 114 from verse 1 to 7. Psalm chapter 114 from verse 1 to 7. Let us pray for it. Heavenly Father, we've come again to say thank you. We are not exhausted to keep telling you thank you because you've been good to us. You've been faithful to us. You've shown us your love. You've shown us your grace. You've shown us your mercy. As a family, as individuals, as a ministry, who we'll come and say, Father, we we'll thank you. Thank you for the bread in our ministries. Many went to bed at the beginning of this morning. Here we are. You've waking us up. We we'll come and say thank you. Another amazing privilege to come hear your word. We we'll come to hear your scripture reading for this morning. Father, we are speakers. Grant us understanding of your word. No one come to you and return the same. We have come to hear from you. May we return as changed people. May we return with answers to all our hard body desires. Thank you for hearing us, Lord. From Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our scripture reading for today, Psalm 114, from verse 1 to 7, added from verse 1. It said, When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from the people of strange land, Judah was his sanctuary, and Israel his dominion. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. The mountains skipped like rams, and little hills like lambs. Verse 5. Why eatest thee, O thou sea, that thou fleted? Thou, o Jordan, that thou was driven back. Ye mountains in verse 6, that ye skipped like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Verse 7 said, Tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. May the Lord bless his word in in Jesus name for emphasis I read again Psalm chapter 114 from verse 107 said when Israel went out of Egypt when Israel went out of Egypt a house of Jacob from a people of strange language Judah was a sanctuary verse 2 and Israel his dominion the sea saw it and fled and Jordan was driven by the mountains skipped like rams and little hills like lambs verse 4 verse 5 what it's the O thou sea that thou fleted oh thou Jordan that thou was driven by Verse 6, ye mountain that ye skip like rams, and ye little hills like lambs. Tremble thou, verse 7, tremble thou earth, tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. Let the Lord bless his word and grab his understanding in Jesus' name. When Israel went out of Egypt, the house of Jacob from the people of what? Of strange language, when they left the land of bondage, when they left the land of Penuel, Judah was his sanctuary and Israel his dominion. That means praise was his what? Was his sanctuary. They were praising God, thanking God, appreciating what the Lord have done for God to have brought them out. They keep appreciating. And because they went to the presence of God in praise, the mountain. Those insurmountable mountains were skipping like rams. You know what that means? You're coming close to the mountain, and it looks as if the mountain was moving backward. And that was it. When you're traveling for far distance, you will see, oh, okay, we're close to that. By the time you're almost getting there, you see it moving further and further and further. But yes, was a reality. When you're getting close to those challenges, those challenges were moving backward. Little hills were jumping like lambs. And look at it. And they asked, why? Why were you jumping? Jordan, why were you driven back? Mountains, why were you skipping? And he said, the presence of God. The pre you can't be a carrier of the presence of God and barrenness will be staring you at the face. Believe you need to fade away in a matter of time. You can't be carrying the presence of God and lack and want will be staring you at the face. They will skip away in a matter of time. You can't be carrying the presence of the Lord and sickness and disease will be fed in your body. You can be carrying God's presence. A man and woman will be assaulting you, will not be honoring you. Not possible. You can be carrying God's presence, I mean genuine God's presence, and your spouse will be far away somewhere. Destiny will bring him to where you are and connect you guys to be set to that. You can carry God's presence and not be promoted. You can carry God's presence and not be favored. Beloved, Seek for his presence, love his presence, keep his presence.
whatever. In fact, jealousy and guide that nothing takes away from you. And you see how you fly to the top. God grants understanding in Jesus' name. And take prayers, and we go. And when is your word out of Egypt, the house of Jacob, from strength land? Lord, take me out of any strange place I am in. Take me out. I am in a strange place. I don't know. Take me out. Take me out of the place of bondage where I am. Take me out from this place of addiction. Take me out from this place of anger. Take me out from this place of lack of favor. Take me out. Take me out. Pray for yourself. Pray for your loved ones. Pray for your family. Open your mouth and pray where you are. Lord, take me out from any strange place of penury. Take me out from any strange place of lack and want. Take me out from any strange place of sin. Take me out from any place, none of you take me out, take me out. They were there for 430 years until soccer came. Lord, take me out. Take me out. It doesn't matter for how long I've been in this sickness. Take it out. Take it out for me. Take me out. It doesn't matter for how long I've been in this affliction or this addiction. Take me out, oh God. Take me out. Take me out from the loss of the flesh. Take me out from the loss of the eyes. Take me out from the pride of life. Take me out from the spirit of anger. Take it away from me. Take away this spirit of anger away from me. Take away this spirit of covetousness away from me. Take out the spirit of envy away from me. Take out the spirit of wickedness away from me. Take it away. This burden in my heart, take it away. This place of barrenness where I'm in it after these six years of marriage, take it away. Take it away. Take it away, oh God, take it away. Take away this wickedness. Take it away, this evil memories, this bad memories, take it away, take it away. Set me free, take it away, oh God. You brought Israel, the house of Jacob, out of the land of what? Land of slavery and servitude for four and three years. You brought them out. Take me out of God, out of this long age issue. Take it away from me. Take me away from this long age challenge. You take it away. From this thing that is being turned my identity, take it away. Take it away, oh Lord, call of heaven, take it away. Take it away. This burden in my spirit, in my soul, that I can't tell what is there, take it away. This sickness in my blood, take it away. This sickness in my body, take it away. This penury around me, take it away. This poverty, take it away. Lack of favor, take it away. Lack of grace, take it away. Lack of your mercy, take it away. Take it away, oh God, take it away. I have come before you, take it away. Take away this burden in my soul, this heavy weight on my mind, take it away. Take it away. These memories of the evil I have done in the past, take it away. Take it away. Take it away. This unforgiveness of myself, take it away. Unforgiveness on others, take it away. Unforgiveness of you, Lord, take it away. Take it away. I have let go from today. I have let go from today. Take it away, oh God. Take away this tone of barrenness in the womb of my siblings. Take it away. Take it away. This barrenness from the womb of my siblings. Take it away. This take it away, oh God. Those can come in the life of my brothers. Take it away. Take it away, oh God. Take it away. Take it away. This lack of marriage in my lineage, lack of marriage in my in my lineage will go for those due for marriage. Let their spouses come. Let their spouses come. Take away this body no go. Take it away. Take it away. This long age affliction. Take it away. Thank you, Father. For Jesus name we pray. Then Judah was a sanctuary and Israel is to me. Judah is sanctuary. Lord, I receive the grace to praise and to appreciate you every now and then. We're going to pray. I pray that. Take time that you pray. Lord, I receive grace to thank you no matter the situation. He said, in all things, I should give thanks. He said, in all things, I should give thanks. I receive grace to thank you and to praise you as a lifestyle. I receive grace to thank and praise you as a lifestyle. Lord Jesus, I receive grace to thank and to praise you as a lifestyle. No more complaining. No more gumbling around me. No more complaining and murmuring. No more nagging around me in the name of Jesus Christ. For we know they complain, they murmur, they grumble in the wilderness and they were destroyed of the destroyer. I will not be destroyed. No more grumbling, no more complaining around me. No more grumbling, no more complaining. I just will be giving you thanks. I receive grace 
to thank you and receive grace, to worship you and receive grace, to praise you as a lifestyle and receive grace, to praise, to honor you, to adore you, Jesus, as a lifestyle and receive grace, to praise you every now and then and receive grace, to adore you every now and then and receive grace, to worship you, the Lord Sia Kukuski Tanula Epekete Kete Marakata, the Lord Sia Kunskanti and Kakushki Aragada. Rakata maskoski aragalada ete kete makos kantia kukushaka taka no more grumbling no more complaining no more murmuring no more nagging in the name of Jesus Christ I receive the spirit of appreciation I receive the spirit of thanksgiving afresh I receive the spirit of praise afresh on a daily basis say Father I thank you on a daily basis say Father you great you are awesome you've done me well. I receive grace to appreciate you every now and then, Jehovah. I receive grace to thank you for all you've been doing. I receive grace to say thank you for what you're about to do. I say, receive grace to say thank you for what you will do. Father, I receive grace to appreciate you every now and then. He said, you know what things you give to us. Thank you, Lord. No more grumbling. The spirit of complaining is destroyed. The spirit of Nagging is, is destroyed. The spirit of murmuring, the spirit of not, you know, is destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Another. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Said so the sea saw it and fled, Jordan was driven by. Jesus, let every insurmountable challenge around me be driven back. Let it be destroyed forever. Let every mountain stand in my way to destiny be shut. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every mountain blocking my way be shattered. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every mountain blocking my way be shattered. In the name of Jesus Christ, let every affliction be destroyed. Let every affliction be destroyed. Let every affliction be destroyed. Let every attack from Peter Perry turn back to center. Make sure you think to yourself, let every attack, let every mountain, let every hill, let every Jordan. Blocking my way to my promised land be shut at the bubble arm. Let everything not of God around me let it be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, and as I anything not of God around me, let it be destroyed, let it be destroyed. The Lord Sia Kukuski Dalula Epicete Rakoski Aragalata. Let every sea blocking my access to my promised land be destroyed. Let every mountain, let every jotan be driven back. In the name of Jesus, we are God who parted the Red Sea. You make the impossible possible. It is impossible. It is technically, it is impossible. It is mechanically impossible for these guys to cross to the other side. But you parted away in the Red Sea and walk past Jesus Christ in Nazareth. That evil stone that they may have planted in my heart that stick like a body. That barrenness that the devil have positioned around me, that lack and want, that evil that he had in me, and Satan have pushed around me, that look impossible to overcome, that many car cannot see Jesus Christ. And that's right. Because you did the impossible, you make a way there, there's no way. You parted a way in the Red Sea, and the impossibility became possible. Lord, let them. Possibility in my life become possible, like the impossibility become possible. The enemy said it is impossible. Make it possible, God. They said I can't come out of this health challenge. Make it possible for me to come out. Even now, in the name of Jesus Christ, they said I will never prosper. Jesus, let the impossible become possible. They have been this is to show I didn't have certificate. I'm not qualified, I don't have the skill, I am not the best candidate, however, because you are going to make it possible, possible, make it possible for me to secure that contract, make it possible for me to secure that job, make, me, make it possible for me to be involved in that deal, in the name of Jesus, make it possible, make it possible, Lord, make it possible, you parted the way the right sea, you drink from Jordan bad, you make mountain to skip like rams, and you live like rams, but in the name of Jesus, it will be impossible for you. Make sure you are praying for yourself. Make sure you are praying for yourself. Pray for your business. Pray for your career. Pray for your future. Pray for your needs. Pray for your job. Pray for your shop. But in the name of Jesus, in my ministry, let every mountain be insurmountable. 
Let every mount to be surmounted. Let every mount to be surmounted. Let every general be delivered. Let every red team be parted in the name of Jesus Christ. Let Jesus be the outbreak of signs and wonders. Let the outbreak of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be an outbreak of the miracles. We can pray, let there be an outbreak of the miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be an outbreak of the miracles. We can pray, we can decree in the name of Jesus Christ, of Nazareth. Anyone that said I will not go forward, don't go down for me. Every sea that said I will not cross the other side will be destroyed, will be swallowed in the name of Jesus Christ. Verse 4 said, The mountains said, The mountains keep like rams. The mountains keep like rams, and little hills like lambs. The mountains keep like rams. And little hills like lamb. Jesus, let every mountain skip, let every hill be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, mother. The mountains are no about, let it be destroyed. The hills are no about, let it let them be destroyed. The mountains are no about, let them be destroyed. The hills are no about, let them be destroyed. The mountains and the hills of the spirit, let them be destroyed. The mountain of the hills in the spiritual, let them be destroyed. The mountain of the hills, even in the physical, let them be destroyed. The mountain of the hills in my academics, in my marriage, in my business, in my shop, let them be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I'm as a little the Holy Spirit to intercede on behalf of things you don't know about. Engage the Spirit of the Living God, engage the Spirit of Justice, made perfect in the sin of the Elosia, Kukuski, Kakusha, Kakaskia, Arada, Rekete, Maria, Ruski, Aruru, Rambulalu, Epekete, Rakatasko, the Ahus, Kalabashi, Aru, Ebekeshe, Kete, Marakata, one of the Vashanta, the Garada, the Petiaskoski, Abombos, can be Aruda, and the Katiaskoski, Arando, Epen, Kakaskaska, Aragada, and the Garabo Shati, Aragada. Make sure you're praying for yourself. Engage the spirit of a living God as Jesus, the mediator of intercession. We have as one of those in the have ask the spirit of judgment made perfect in the sin we have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let every mountain skip, let every hill be destroyed in the name of any strong man or strong woman that have placed themselves as a principality to which a way to which a war and make sure I don't get in the promised land that I can be destroyed by the of the Holy Spirit, let them be destroyed. Let by the fire of the Holy Spirit, let them be destroyed. Thank you, Father. By the blood of Christ, let them be destroyed. Thank you, Lord. So, what is that deal? Thou see that thou fleteth, thou general, thou driven by. Yea, mount the legs, skip like rams, or little hills like lambs. Travel thou at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob. Father, may I be a carrier of your presence. Come back to your prayer. Jesus, may I be a carrier of your presence body, soul, and spirit. May I be a carrier of your presence. May I be a carrier of your presence day and night. May I be a carrier of your think presence. It is your presence that makes the difference in the journey of life. May I be a carrier of your presence. The reason why the children of Israel, the house of Jacob, enjoy this miracle, living the land of bondage, they are committed what because they carry this presence. Moses, God's presence was with them. God's presence shadowed them practically. God's presence was a pillar at night. It was a covering for them. It was a layer upon them. God's presence was with them. Lord, may I be a body in the carry of your presence day and night. In the morning, may I carry your presence when I live in my house. In the meantime, may I carry your presence even while in the shop, even while at work. If while working, may I be a boy who carry your presence at night? May I carry your presence back home? When I'm sleeping, may I carry your presence? When I'm awake in the morning, may I carry your presence bodily, spiritually? Jesus, may I carry your presence? May I carry your presence? May I carry your presence? 
as a lifestyle, may I carry your presence. 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 In the name of Jesus, God, may I carry your presence. Every day and night, Jesus, Jesus, everything bows to you, Lord. Everything bows to you. The mountains bow to you. The hills bow to you. The Red Sea bows to you. Jordan bows to you. Sickness and disease bow to you. Deafness bow to you. Badness bow to you. Lose power come bows to you. Cancer bows to you. Leukemia bows to you. HIV it bows to you. Arthritis bows to you. Stop glucose bows to you. Everything bows to you. And terminal disease bow to you. Everything bows to you. Every blood related disease bow to you. Mental disorder bows to you. Highs different bows to you. Low sightedness, long sight, all bows to you. Therefore, Lord God of heaven, may I be a carrier of your presence. May I jealously guide your presence around me in the name of Jesus Christ. May I be a carrier of your presence. Your presence deter accident. Your presence deter amrobe attack. Your presence deter kidnapping. Your presence deter every vices of evil. Your presence, your presence, your presence, your presence. May I carry your presence bodily, may I carry your presence spiritually, may I carry your presence bodily, may I carry your presence spiritually, in the name of Jesus Christ, may I carry your presence, may I carry your presence day and night, may I carry your presence day and night, may my siblings carry your presence day and night, may my spouse carry your presence day and night, may my children carry your presence day and night, in the name of Jesus Christ, let my company carry your presence. Let my business carry your presence. Let my shop carry your presence. Let my cars carry your presence. Let my house carry your presence. Let my finances carry your presence. Jesus, your presence. I crave for your presence. I crave for your presence. I desire your presence. I want your presence. I want your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want your presence from now on. I desire your presence from now on. Clothe me with your presence, O oh God. Clothe me with your presence. Clothe me with your presence. It is your presence that brings healings. It is your presence that brings deliverance. I receive your presence. I walk into your presence. I abide in your presence. I tabernacle in your presence. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord, for releasing your presence upon me. Thank you, Lord, for baptizing me with your presence afresh. Everything bows to God. Everyone brings to God. When I carry you, everyone brings to me by favor. When I carry you, every sickness is destroyed. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Said so it's a moment of encounter. Thank you, Lord. The Lord said it is a moment of encounter. For you, it is a moment of encounter. For me, is a moment of encounter for your family. It is a moment of encounter. Wherever your siblings are, this encounter is touching them. Wherever your lineage are, to the infinite generation that will last, this encounter will last. It is a moment of encounters. It is a moment of encounters. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you for the healing waves. Thank you for the outbreak of the signs and wonders. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for your presence that is deep in this, this altar. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence deep upon every altar that your voice is being heard this hour. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your presence preceding hour. To everyone that the sound of my voice is out, thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the healing going on right now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the deliverance going on right now. Thank you for the demons crying out and flying away. Thank you for that sickness dropping off. Thank you for that cancer being destroyed. Thank you for that leukemia drying off. Thank you for that love drying off. Thank you, Jesus, for the healings. Thank you for financial healings. Thank you for making our hands strong to take and carry our blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of our living God, not unto us, but unto you, the other glory. Not unto us, but unto you, the praise. Thank you for this encounter in this moment. Thank you, Jesus. 
hang, you know, on a time for opening the graves. For anyone appointed to death, thank you for canceling that. Thank you for terminating the accident as about it before. Thank you for taking those children even as they play in the house from a domestic accident. Thank you, Jesus, for shooting the house. No evil report on domestic accident. No kidnapping. No evil. Thank you for this moment of the miraculous. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the outbreak of science among us right now. Thank you, Holy Father. For in Jesus' name, I pray. For I'm better, you are not safe. There's a limit of the inflow of the power of God upon you. You want to say yes to Jesus. You want to relocate back to Jesus, perhaps you walked away. Oh, you've never heard about Jesus. I tell you, Jesus is real. He came to this earth. He lived like you and I. He died. And I told you he resurrected for your justification. He is risen for you to have a future after this earth. Life in this earth is temporal. But life beyond is eternal. You want to spend the time to be him when you leave this world after your very old age. Place your hand on your chest, bow your head, and say, Lord Jesus, I come to you this hour. Forgive me my sin. Wash me with your blood. Purify me. Write my name in the book of life. I confess you, Jesus, to be my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. Write my name in the book of life. Grant me time to be just on my journey from this world. Thank you for receiving me. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. For in Jesus' name I cry. Amen. In the same vein, Father, thank you for the songs and daughters that were told me. I said them with thanks in Jesus. I said them, Jesus. And Lord, let your presence abide in them, in Jesus. I prophesy and I decree upon the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The presence of God will tell with you forever. You're coming out of every evil. You're coming out of every conscription from the pit of hell. Every trap they have set ahead for you to fall into. You have dodged and passed in the name of Jesus. Every conscription from the pit of hell to put you down and make sure you end up in shame and end in hell. I decree that our conscription is destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Every survivor at Sambalat that want to come and destroy what God is doing in your life, I declare the fire of God destroy them right now in the name of Jesus. Every Jordan and every Red Sea, every mountain and every hill, that it had to stand and vow you will not get your promise now. Every Goliath that is blocking your destiny will not allow your glory to shine. I decree that I be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. I prophesy in your life, your glory shall shine. Your glory will manifest. You are coming out of that lane, long age of fiction. You are coming out of that sickness. You are coming out of that pain in the name of Jesus. You are coming out of that joblessness in the name of Jesus. You are coming out of that lack of breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Sell from your shop. Begin to sell in the name of Jesus. That those goods are not there to stay there, there to be sold. Therefore, I decree those goods be sold in the name of Jesus Christ. Your career is not there to waste. Let it be manifested. In the name of Jesus Christ, job is coming your way. I said job is coming your way. Contract is coming your way. Favor is coming your way. I prophesy in the next two days, in the next two days, you will receive above 100,000 by favor in the name of Jesus. In the next two weeks, you will receive above a million there in the name of Jesus. You will receive above a million in the next three months in the currency of where you live in the name of Jesus. The Lord has opened to you his good treasure. The Lord has dazed you with his blessing. It will manifest. It will manifest. Anyone that dares to curse you is going down the grave in the name of Jesus. Anyone attempting to return to you will not see another dawn of the new day come tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, it is written, suffer another wish to leave. Anyone bewitching your destiny, anyone bewitching your marriage, anyone bewitching your womb, then allow you bring forth. Clear to go to bed tonight, they will not wake up tomorrow morning. I say they will not wake up tomorrow morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, I mean, anyone be reaching your career, anyone be reaching your finances, you get their money out of good, good will. Use it 
to go and bury the burial ground. They use that money to go and be incantation. I declare, let fire from heaven destroy them all. Let fire from heaven destroy them all. If I be a man of God sent from heaven, let fire come from heaven and consume everyone bewitching your destiny, everyone bewitching your marriage, anyone that vowed that your siblings will not get married, they will not stay in their husband's house, they will not be fruitful. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost come from heaven and destroy them. In the name of Jesus, let the spirit of blindness come upon them. Let the spirit of death come upon them. You are the one who sent fire from heaven and consumed the fifty and the captain who came to capture Elisha. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ on the earth. For anyone walking tirelessly to make sure your family end in tears, anyone walking tirelessly to make sure you don't come out of that hell challenge, anyone walking tirelessly to make sure you come here to bed. And the sorrow of life between the name of Jesus Christ. And let fire come from heaven and destroy them. Let fire come from heaven and consume them. Literal fire they will come upon them. They will begin to shout. They will begin to confess and die. In the name of Jesus Christ. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Where do you want trust to go from the front of the room? Please place your right hand in your room. Or you are standing the gap for someone, or you are a man. They said your spouse can't be low, therefore you can't be pregnant. You are place your hand on your own man. I stand on the shoes of my father, Bishop David Olamir, and I decree your womb open in the name of Jesus. Your womb open in the name of Jesus. Every lowest point cannot be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ of Israel. Your womb open in the name of Jesus. Your womb open in the name of Jesus. Those Philippian tubes are open. Every disorder is placed in order. Every disorder is placed in order. In the name of Jesus Christ of Israel. The more cream over childlessness is over. The mockery over childlessness in the house is over. The mockery over childlessness in the house is over. In the name of Jesus Christ, the pressure of in-laws is over. You have evidence to show. You have evidence of marriage to show. The Bible says children are each of the Lord and the fruit of the is reward. The fruit of the is reward. The Lord will reward you with children. The Lord will reward you with children. The Lord will reward you with children because he said this solely in marriage. He will reward you with children. The Lord will reward you with children in the name of Jesus Christ. Another, you don't have a job, put your hands together like this. I prophesy in the name of Jesus Christ. Another, what will locate you in the name of Jesus? What will locate you in the name of Jesus? Business is located in the name of Jesus. Your career will blossom in the name of Jesus. Financial people will meet you. You will start something. You will become a prayer of labor. In the name of Jesus Christ, on every mountain standing your way, I decree those mountains destroyed right now in the name of Jesus. Every year, every year, begin to skip like ramps. In the name of Jesus Christ, every insurmountable mountain. That have blocked your way to destiny. That does not allow you to block your destiny. I decree today, they be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Your glory will be revealed to the world. You will shine to the world. Say, I shine for that light is come. Your light has come. Your moment of deliverance has come. Your light has come. Your moment of breakthrough has come. Your moment of the supernatural has come. No one shall stop you anymore. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Well. You will be a bodily carrier of the presence of God. Is the presence of God that makes a difference? The presence of God makes every mountain to skip, make every hills to be driven back, make judgments to be driven back. The presence of God part of the Red Sea from today. You shall be a carrier of God's presence. From today, you shall be a carrier of God's presence. In the name of Jesus Christ and Nazareth. Well. 
wisdom to jealously guide God's presence, wisdom to jealously guide God's presence, receive it in the name of Jesus. Those things that please God's offer, you won't do them anymore. Huh? Grace to jealously guide His presence, to command the supernatural, to command signs and wonders. Grace to supernatural, keep His presence, that will make the prophecy over you from your bishop, from your father, from your mother, from your reverend, from your pastor. Fine expression you receive in the name of Jesus. From today, your head will not reject prayers. Those declarations being done on your spiritual father in the beginning of the year 2024 will find fulfillment in your life in the name of Jesus. The case of Lazarus was dead and buried. The case was of Lazarus was finished already. He was buried. He was thinking it's over for him. But Jesus Christ of Nazareth stepped in there with his presence and it was a new chapter for Lazarus. It doesn't matter whether they written you off. It doesn't matter the region of your case. It doesn't matter if the law have closed that case. And it is not in your favor. I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A new chapter is open for you. A new chapter is open for your future. A new chapter is open for your marriage. A new chapter is open for your fruitfulness. A new chapter is open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is not over. With God is not over. One with God is a majority. You are a copy of His presence. You are a majority. Elisha said, that opened the eyes of my servant that he will see. We have more angels on our side than these 50. And the Lord opened his eyes and he saw a new company of angels. You are a majority. I said, You are a majority. You are a majority in strength. You are a majority in wealth. You are a majority. Imagine. You have a million angels around you, and every angel give you five, five, five thousand. How much are you going to work? That's how much you can think of God with you. Imagine every angel bring their blessings to you. Imagine how loaded you be with blessings. A man loaded with blessings cannot be under any cause. And for anyone that attempts to cause you from under his cause, forever in the name of Jesus, anyone attempts to cause you will go down the grave. Anyone plotting to pull you down will not see the don't ever need to come tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, I begin to give him praise for the encounter of this moment. We say, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Not unto us, but unto you, other glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the encounter of this moment. Thank you, Jesus. It is indeed a moment of encounter. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for taking over the altar. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, Lord, for Jesus, my King. We pray the grace by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Go as a carrier of His presence and return with testimony. Say with me, I am blessed and I am highly favored. Say, I am blessed and I am highly favored. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See you tomorrow. Today, we will go. We will return with testimonies. No accident, no evil report. No evil report, no accident, only good report, only good food, only good phone calls will be heard. Favor will meet you in the name of Jesus Christ.